Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Javon Bank. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Missouri. I'm Alex Schindler. I'm a PhD student at the University of Missouri. Uh, we're here at Cheyenne Bottoms today um, and this week in an attempt to catch uh, white-fronted geese or speckle-belly geese. And um, we're looking at a project trying to use GPS transmitters like this one here, um, capable of taking GPS locations every 15 minutes, um, and also have uh, onboard sensors which can allow us to determine behavior. Uh, and we're looking at all aspects of white-fronted goose migration, uh, winter and, and spring, fall migration, winter and spring migration ecology. Um, the goals are kind of to link certain portions of the annual cycle to see how uh, individuals make decisions throughout their migration and winter period, uh, ultimately influencing fitness, whether they survive and reproduce. So uh, Cheyenne Bottoms is really important uh, to white fronts, especially during fall and spring migrations. Uh, it's, a, it's a really important stopover for geese traveling uh, to northern Texas, southern Texas, Mexico, and even Louisiana and Arkansas, uh, depending on spring or fall migration. And so uh, we wrapped up uh, about a four day catch here uh, and caught and fixed uh, three transmitters to adult females uh, so we can look at whether they breed um, next breeding season when they return uh, after spring migration. This project, of course, is a uh, so it's part of a larger project. We're looking at a bunch of different populations um, around the globe. Uh, for example, I study primarily geese that migrate from Greenland to uh, Ireland and Great Britain every year. So really cool opportunities to look at how this population compares to some of the other populations as well. Yeah, so this is a huge collaboration along those lines with um, partners, for, including uh, Environment Canada, Canadian um, Wildlife Service, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, and lots of states, including Kansas, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, um, and lots of universities, Texas A&M, Kingsville, University of Missouri. Uh, so it's a really big collaboration. We're really excited to be a part of it and uh, catching geese here at Cheyenne Bottoms. The geese were captured in a secluded area of Cheyenne Bottoms where they were loafing during the day. A rocket net was used to capture the geese. The net was disguised to blend in with the natural settings. Attached to this net are three rockets that can be remotely detonated once the targeted birds enter the capture zone. The geese are quickly removed from the net and put in carriers for processing. For each bird, its age, sex, weight, and other morphometrics were recorded. Each bird received a USGS leg bin that contains a unique nine-digit number and a web address for the finder to report it at. Neck collars with a transmitter were placed on adult females. Adult females were chosen as a component of this study is examining nesting ecology. The transmitter uses cellar technology to provide location and contains an accelerometer that provides behavioral data. From this, we can not only, not only get location, but we can tell if the bird's flying, walking, feeding, or resting. The transmitters are solar powered and is expected to provide two or more years of data.